about the concept of unstable systems, and that one regarding to very last question in your homework. So for this example here, we consider this is a pendulum, we call the inverted pendulum. And for my demonstration right now, I don't have any springs, only hair, only the viscous from the air, but that's very small. For this case, that basically at the top, we connected two springs. And depends on the locations of the spring, depends on the value of the spring, that can make the system stable or unstable. So basically, this is a design, uh, the design problem here. Okay. So for this question, the first of all is we still have to formulate the uh, equation of motions. So basically, here we assume this one we tilt it a little bit. Okay. So basically, we tilt by small angle. Again, for uh, vibration 408, we consider everything linear. So we consider this kind of perturbation is very small. Okay, so imagine that one. So under this case, if we tilt it by that way, then this spring has been compressed by how much? By that big. So we can see the very small uh, perturbation perturb the, ang the angle. So basically, if the whole length is L, then we know that in reality, this should be L times tangent theta. But again, theta is very small. So basically, this one is a pro can be approximated by L theta. OK. So L theta is the amount that spring, this spring has been compressed. So multiply with the spring constant, and KL sine theta or whatever, I think here we can approximate uh, theta to small and sine theta or tangent theta to, to theta. And again, on the other side, this screen on the left-hand side has been stretched. So that's going to provide the recovery force in the same direction and the same amount like this one. So that is the spring force and applied um, at the uh, pivot point A there, okay? On the other side, if you like, you can consider the gravity. And so the mass of the center is being perturbed a little bit to there. So the mass of the center, for example, is here. Being per 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 perturbed is L over theta. OK, that is the amount of the, um, um, the perturbation. And then the mass is uh, the weight on that one is mg. OK. so. Basically, here is, let me say this is the mg, and that is a force, and at here we have two spring force, okay, and then each of the springs basically is k times l theta, and this is kl theta. Okay, so let me highlight that is a force here. So in total, this one will be equivalent to, again, this one will be, um, uh, provided as an initial force, so that is I, moment of initial respect to the pivot point here is O here, let me call this is O, okay? And theta double dot, okay? So theta double dot will be totally provided by the moment about the O, and let me take the sign convection along with the theta, um, no. Sorry, because theta is perturbed in that direction, so let me take the sign convention along with the theta, okay? Okay, right now from here, the total moment the, is coming from the uh, moment that produced by loadings, right? So from here, we have three loadings, one, two, three. So we simply take that one by one. So from spring, that's a K L theta, that is a spring force. Spring force multiplied with the arm from where the spring to the pivot here, that is L. And this is the moment. This moment negative to our sign convention, we put a sign negative here. Again, uh, we have two such springs, so why not we multiply with two? Okay, and now for the gravity induced, and the force is mg. And that is a force coming down and multiplied with little arm, and that is a moment about this pivot. So multiply with uh, L over 2 theta, okay? 
So this is the moment, this moment basically you can see that aligned to our side convection here. So that's positive. Be good? Okay, then we arrangement, then basically uh, we can see is I O C dot double dot um let me do a little bit. Um, we have L theta. Um, okay, so let me do this one. Plus two K L square theta minus M G over two L theta equal to zero. Okay, so <coughs> under this case is uh, I O um, I O equal to M L three M L square over over three I think yes okay so therefore let me plug in everything here M L square over three theta double dot plus so right now I'm going to arrange this term here so I have I'm going to turn out the L theta out of there so. Um, how to do it? Two K L minus N G over L times L theta. Okay, like this. Good. So now we come to the situations talking about the stability. Stability again is a way to maintain the system stable. That means maintain the theta uh, as a finite value. Like this, that is unstable. Theta becomes larger and larger, and then once go to, say, 180 degree, basically forming like this. And if we can do the active control, that means imagine my finger as the certain motors, I do kind of two-dimensional maintaining the theta. So that is active control. Um, then the system is stable. Okay, so that really depends on the numbers here. So <clears throat> if you could imagine, then how about this? Let me uh, put into this term, say, compared to our template is m c, c dot double dot plus k theta equal to, this is our template. So compared to this one, basically, let me use mk. meq, uh, keq, how about this? Okay, so in this way, this is our meq, and our keq is uh, this one, right? Okay, so right now you can see, um, to make the stable systems, what is the requirement for KEQ? Must be positive, right? The same thing like you said, right? To make the system stable, to make the theta stable, we have to ask in MEQ, KEQ, have a, both have the same sign. Can you tell? And one example is like this. Theta double dot plus say uh, four theta equal to zero, then we know the root uh, simply equal to minus negative two, negative two, that is stable. If theta double dot minus four theta equal to zero, then the root is two and two, unstable, right? So right now for this one, for our example here, to ask him for a stable system. What is the requirement of this term? Positive, right? So that means QKL minus the NG is a less than uh, non-negative. That be easy? Okay, so right now we can make up this requirement because that is based upon our our understanding of the stability definitions. Okay, so that one really depends on selecting the case and L depends on the MG to make that happen. So that is the simple uh, 
examples and for demonstrating the stability. Okay, so here we have a few things.